Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to explain uh, the difference between a hard disk and RAM. And I'm going to start this with a simple example. Let's say uh, I want to make a salad. Now all my ingredients are in my fridge. So I'm going to draw a fridge. There's my fridge. And it contains all the ingredients I need for my salad. There's the door. Now. Um, I can do make the salad in uh, in the fridge, but that that would be very messy and it's not very efficient. So the best way to do a, to make a salad is uh, to get the stuff out of the fridge and use some kind of workspace. Let's say a table where I can mix and combine the ingredients into some great salad. And the same thing is with your computer. And uh, that fridge would be your hard disk. That's where everything is stored, your programs, your documents and everything. And that workspace is your RAM. So uh, when I want to make my salad, what I need, I need to load the ingredients from the fridge onto that workspace. And that's the same thing what you do when you load a program or you open up a document. You double click on something and what happens is that something, that program or that document gets loaded into RAM. So, and then you work, and all your work is on that, in that workspace, in that RAM. Same thing with my salad. I'm, I'm mixing my salad here and, uh, you know, mixing all the ingredients together and putting them all in that bowl. And all of that is taking place in RAM. And obviously, the bigger my RAM is, the more ingredients I can, I can uh, have on that, on that table. Same thing is with your computer. The more RAM you got, the more programs you can simultaneously run. Or you can run really big programs like uh, you know, big engineering programs or photo editing programs require a lot of RAM. Uh, way more than let's say a simple text editor. And it's the same thing here. I mean, if I wanna do like a salad for 40 people, I need a much bigger table than, than that one. So, and so I've done my salad, I, you know, made a great salad and I want to save it for this evening so what do I do I can't leave it out in the open because it's gonna go bad so I need to put it back in the fridge and that's the same thing what we do with our computer work when I built that document or uh, that spreadsheet and I need it for some other day I need to save it why because RAM cannot hold my work long term. RAM can only store information as long as the uh, computer is switched on. Once you switch off your computer or if your computer crashes, everything in RAM is lost. That's why they call it volatile memory. You know, because it cannot hold your stuff for long. That's why you gotta regularly save your stuff to your hard disk. What, what it means is a copy of your work is being sent to the hard disk where it's saved. That's why they call hard disks persistent memory because they store your stuff long term. So, and then, and that's what I'm doing by myself. What I, you know, I put it in my fridge and the same thing is with the work. You put your work or you save your work to your hard disk. The only difference is here, I'm taking that salad, the original salad and placing it on the, on, in my fridge. With computers, you're putting a copy. The original stuff, the original work, gets deleted once you switch off your computer. Next time you start your computer and you wanna you know, work on your document again, you're opening that copy of your document you saved the previous time. The original stuff is always lost um, once you switch off your computer or, God forbid, once your computer crashes. 